Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I have something special for you. The case which we will be covering today is one of the cases which was faced by one of my friend and one thing I can assure you is the example which we will cover will be the best example for cube and roll up for you to understand it. Now the scenario is my friend was asked by his manager to send a mail through SQL DB mail and the, the data which he has to send in the mail has to come from some tables and the, 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 uh, the format of data which was expected is metrics. Now as you know there is uh, no direct metrics operator in SQL Server so we cannot generate metric uh, from data directly using any uh, operator. So for generating that metrics uh, we were able to achieve with cube and pivot. We use pivot and cube. Now uh, one thing uh, before the uh, like before the uh, this lecture I want to tell you is this example is not good for pivot for pivot you can refer my the other example in that I have covered the pivot but this will be good example for cube and rollup. Now uh, before starting the lecture I will show you uh, what is the output uh, what is the raw data from which we derive the uh, like uh, the metrics and uh, the metrics I will show you. Now this is the raw data here what we have is we have year, quarter and client and total sales of that client uh, within this uh, quarter for this year and so on like for 2015 uh, I have for G in the quarter 1 they have made this sales for quarter 2 they made this sales and for quarter 3 this is the sale and quarter 1 and so on. So this is just a simple uh, you can say uh, you know like this is a simple table with the uh, year term client and sales. Now the metrics which we generated is let me show you that matrix. Okay, now in the matrix, what we have is we have 2014 year first, then client, and then sales of that client for each quarter, and then summary of that client in whole 2014 as a total, and same for other clients. And again, we have a total in 2014, which is sum of all money spent by each client in each quarter. And at the end, this is the summary of all money spent in complete year. So you can see we can uh, we are able to get the grand total for each year for each client, and then we have uh, like you can say super grand total for combining both the years for each quarter as well as for all the clients. Now this is the matrix, and how we will generate uh, be able to generate we will cover in this lecture. Now uh, in this uh, table we have three columns uh, like you can say four columns year term client and sales these three columns will act as a group and this is uh, this will act as a value so uh, to make you understand more easily I have shortened this uh, table using an uh, view now this view will only show you data of 2014 and we'll show you only three columns because first we will generate metrics through three, these three columns then we will come to the uh, like uh, the other uh, uh, using the fourth column because uh, the thing is more columns will come more complex the metrics uh, like the comp metrics will become more complex so you need to filter then met uh, like the raw data uh, the cube data through some of the conditions so i will sh show you uh, during the example now this uh, with this uh, view we will be just getting quarter client and uh, the total sales uh, of each client within that quarter now uh, for this i have just made a query for grouping the data now grouping will be giving the same uh, result which is normal query is giving now i will be running cube now cube is extension of group by clause so i am cubing the data on term and client and it will be the sum of sales so now if we see the output we have uh, like you now it has automatically sorted also now for each client it is showing the sum uh, the total sales for each quarter then it is showing grand total of all the sales for that client now for the other client also it is showing first the quarter sale then the grand total of sale irrespective of the quarter now means how much total uh, client has spent in all of the quarters now at the end we have this uh, like null for in term and client column which is telling this is the total money spent by all clients in all quarters now in below we have this quarter like in quarter one irrespective of any client this is the total amount spent so uh, null represent kind of irrespective of anything like uh, in whatever column it is coming so 
you can say like null is irrespective of so it is just kind of total it is representing the total will so uh, first my priority will be getting rid of this null let me delete this i will create matrix in front of you so that it will make sense to you so first thing which i did is i just removed null uh, by replacing it with x total now nothing special i did i just use this is null op, uh, like method to replace all null with x total now in place of null we have x total it looks good that uh, we can say on also we have to show the total now we have to uh, now i will show you how to create matrix through this query now th this is very simple query uh, what i did is i have each of the column and then sum of sales and i have applied just q okay nothing extra and here just i have replaced null with x total now for creating the matrix i will be using this query as a raw query uh, like uh, my raw input query now i will be saying select star from i will be using it as sub query of it and let me execute it this will give me the exactly same okay let me i forgot to give alias to this column sales okay okay now this will give me the exactly the same output which above query was giving nothing special in it now i will be using pivot here i will be applying pivot operator i will be saying i want sum of sales and for each term we require which are in this list now for this one thing i will like to tell you is i want all the distinct terms okay now distinct term will be quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 and x total so these are the five distinct terms so i want to group it uh, like pivot it using this now tada our query is done now if we will run we will get the matrix for three column group like two column group now here it is showing us client and the total sale in each quarter and then grand total of that client irrespective of uh, the quarters the total sale done by that client and at the bottom we have grand total of complete quarter for each quarter grand total and then we have total of all the clients in all the quarters so it kind of you know a complete year so this is how simple it is uh, like to generate the matrix we just have to first use the cube operator then we have to replace all the nulls with any x total value and then we have to just uh, like uh, pivot it uh, using uh, that using the column which we require and the values now coming to the three column output now this one is the initial one like year term client and the sales now in this one uh the same first i have showed you uh, like the by just by grouping and then i have applied a, a cube like uh, use the cube extension for this group by class and if i run it let me show you the output now it is showing me uh output of each client for each quarter for each year okay now for quarter one client ge in 2014 has made this sale and 2015 he has made this sale now in the quarter one total in total ge has made this much sale now same thing it is doing for the quarter two and quarter three uh quarter three quarter three and for other clients also okay now this is what it is showing as like in 2015 what uh, it it is totally showing as uh, like the total sales he has done now here what we did is again we got rid of all the null values as you can see we just uh, got rid of all the null values now we will be using this query as an input to this sub query now i just copy it so that you can make sure and let me comment this condition i will tell you like why this con condition i'm commenting now if i just s execute my matrix it is getting me like g the all the quarters then grand total and 2014 grand total of all the uh, for the all the clients for each quarter and then total of 2014 now at below you will see like it is getting me the grand total of each client and this irrespective of year so this is not pretty much expected in metric so this condition is just removing uh, getting rid of these four rows so i will be just removing it uh, adding this condition to get rid of those four rows and if i run it again now this is what matrix look like our matrix look like now i told you about like this will be the best example for cube and roll up now if i explain you roll up by each query it will be like pretty really difficult to understand from the columnary output so what i did is i just 
used same query just I change Q with roll up okay nothing special I did so if I run now if you see like roll up if we uh, run a simple roll up command it uh, like query so it will be just giving us the same combination of uh, like different uh, like uh, like summary of using different combination but it missed some of the combination like the combination which it misses let us see that uh, in this matrix we have just used the same query just replace that cube with roll up now if I run this query you see it give me the grand total for each quarter but it didn't get, get me the grand total of our each year for each client so and here also it missed the grand total for complete like um, main grand to grand total it missed grand total for quarters but it got me total for each year so roll up is missing some of the combination which we are expecting for the matrix so uh, in this example uh, you i think uh, it um, i try to make it uh, make you clear about cube and roll up and how you can create matrix using both so uh, this was example so if you have any question you can reach me through my email id my email id yogesh.mail.gmail.com and this is my website and this is my phone number to reach me directly and you can ping me on skype also and also if you have any question just please uh, feel free to comment on my video or to reach me through my email id or anything so just keep learning stay healthy and for pv8 and other lectures uh, other operators please do check my other lectures uh, they are also very good so and do comment me i really uh, require your feedback so thank you keep learning be happy stay healthy